<clears throat> now this is a slide which I put together because I was thinking what we actually mean by research. Um, because it can mean a lot of things. Good morning. It can mean a lot of things to a lot of people. So this is um, a slide you might recognise from the first workshop you have. So from very large scientific projects like the, LH the LHC, that's obviously a collaboration of high and scientists, um, projects like Dolly Machine and so on, um, are projects which involve large amounts, of, pardon, large amounts of data sharing and collaboration from huge teams which technology has to support essentially because it probably wouldn't be possible to have that scale of collaboration without it. Come in, have a seat. But at the other end of the spectrum, apart from professional scientists, for example, there are the sorts of people who are leisure, leisure researchers who might want to research the family tree, who might want to take part in citizen science projects, um, like <coughs> nature watch type programs. And we want to hear from them as well. It turns out that engaging with members of the public as researchers is one of our more difficult challenges. And perhaps people who work at the libraries um, who presented today will have some thoughts on that. Um, <clears throat> so we're also interested in collaborating with people from industry. And again, that is a harder challenge um, to, to get in contact with, with industrial people. So again, if, if you know people who've got interest in these areas, then please do encourage them to join the network. So the questions for today um, are focused around software tools. So we're interested in thinking about what software tools currently support researchers. And you probably all have your favourite ones which you, you would be able to get by without. Mendeley's mine. I, I can't live without Mendeley, I'm going to say. It's a reference manager uh, package, which is great. Um, but we'll be hearing about more innovative projects um, today which, which start to explore how technology could be used in the future support research uh, from, from different aspects. Um, and I hear we're having a tech demo as well uh, from the Patina people. You know you deny it. You foolishly promised me first thing this morning we would have a demo, so, so <laughs> hopefully we'll get something. Um, and the, really the point of, of this sort of technology is bringing together communities of researchers and we'll see the various ways that the projects have done it. I just want to mention quickly that the funding and resources are inspired to have for you. Um, we do support travel funding and the idea here is that if a researcher wants to visit somewhere either in the UK or internationally which has an innovative or interesting research space, then Spires will support the researcher to make that visit. As long as the person documents their trip perhaps in the form of a blog or a video diary and then shares the findings of, of where they've been and with the rest of the network. So, is the damage your trip? Is that on the website? At the moment? Yes, yeah. So, you're one of our first visitors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, so, you can find out about this trip. You can talk to us about it today, today on to see what we've got on the website. But how did you document it? There's an um, interactive uh, film, uh, ablab.org slash teacher. It's, uh, it's on the site. It's on the an interesting way. Right, yeah. So. <laughs> Okay, so hopefully we'll have other people wanting to do trips like that soon as well. Um, we've also got various resources which you can borrow, uh, borrow and if, if you're interested in any of these things and want to know what the, the deadlines uh, for the travel funding are and so on, then you can email Alison in the first instance and she'll be able to help you uh, with what we have on your own. So today you should have a, a schedule in front of you, there's more pumpkins there. Um, so the way we set it up is we've got talks in the morning and then after lunch we've got time for more discussion and brainstorming to start answering the questions which I um, raised at the beginning. Um, so George will be running this, this discussion session. Alison wants to spend a little bit of time after lunch finding out what, the ways in which spires could help you with your research. And in the morning, we have an absolute feast of talks uh, from two of the projects, Suna and Patina, which were funded at the same time as this network. So it'll be interesting to see um, what stage they've got to. Um, we've also got, I think, three talks relating to libraries.
Tom, sorry, George's talk, which is mysteriously untitled so far. It's all surprise. It's a surprise. So who, who knows what he's going to talk about? Um, but then we have Chrissy and Nora are both going to talk about the research um, in interesting areas here. Um, so Christine's going to talk about her work at the board name and Nora's going to talk about her work at the British Library. Um, and Jim is going to tell us about the RAIN project and the results from that project, which is just finishing up. Um, so I think that's about all that I want to mention just now. Um, apart from to say that the next workshop will be on social research spaces and we're aiming that particularly at the interactions between research students and their supervisors. So if you're either of those things, or possibly both, then you might want to, to come along to that. And that'll probably be in April in Edinburgh, but we'll keep it all posted. George, I think I'll just hand over to you. Is there anything else I should say? So I've got a couple of things to, to go through.